Hey guys, come hang out with us. We got our hands on the brand new Force FX. The Ray Skywalker lightsaber. Ho! Oh! So how is the sensitivity gonna be compared to all the other Force Effects a removable blade lightsaber? And this lightsaber has a couple surprises. So don't go anywhere, guys. Yeah, come hang out with us. Boom! Hey guys, thank you for clicking on our video. Tell them who we are, little guy. We're fighting the Force. We make videos about anything. Star Wars. But especially. Lightsaber. Oh, nailed it, dude. Yes, he is my little clone trooper after all. Can't you tell? So excited. We have one person to thank for getting our hands on the Rey Skywalker Force Effect Saber this early. It came out months early and we are just cranking out these lightsaber reviews. Do we want to make other Star Wars videos? Yeah. But man, but when hot merchandise drops... We got showed off. So the one person we have to thank for getting our hands on this for the review, his name is Peter. And this guy is a, is a true blue, through and through Star Wars fan. He's been collecting lightsabers since like the beginning, for like 15 years, since the 2005 Master Replica Hasbro lightsabers. And uh, he has a pretty epic collection, and he's been super nice enough to let us borrow it for this lightsaber review. Thanks, Peter! Let's get this started, guys. Let's show you guys what it comes with in the box. All right, <laughs> taking it out of the box, here we go. We have the enhanced LED blade. It's gonna have some really cool effects we'll show you guys in a minute. And for your desk and bookshelves, it comes with a really awesome display stand, which we've been seeing coming standard with a lot of the new Force Effect Sabers, which kind of means that they can charge a little bit more for it, right? Yeah. So I think this is retailing for 250, maybe even 260 or 70, man. The price just keeps getting up there. But uh, here's the other piece here. And it's especially shaped for the pummel, it looks like, to sit in it and be on display, and it's gonna be more secure with that. All right, we got an instruction manual here for the Ray Skywalker. Let's see if there's anything new we should know. Can't wait to show you guys this. Dang, look at that. And then lastly, the lightsaber. Boom. <laughs> How many of these have we held, bud? Do you know? Two. No? Three. This is our fourth Ray Scavenger lightsaber we have held. All right, let's just dive right into the design of this lightsaber. Let's take a close look at it, okay? All right, so first things first, uh, I'll put the weight down below on the screen here. Uh, there, it's actually kind of heavy, right? It's a, it has yeah. a really good weight to it, a bit heavier than most sabers, I'd say. Okay, I'll tell you right off the bat, I like the grip because yeah. in, the sh in the movie, her grip is a cloth. But you'll see a lot of people out there wrapping it with a leather because it's brown, but it's really a really dirty cloth, right? Yeah. And I think this is one of the sabers that the more you use it and have fun with it, the oils from your hands are gonna make it darker and dirtier and add more character and it'll look cooler the more you use it. What do you think? I think that's awesome. Yeah? Belt clip? It does. I'm not sure if you'd want to actually hook it on your belt, but it feels really strong like it's a part of the, the hilt. But it's got the belt clip. I don't know if you'd be courageous enough to put it on your belt because it doesn't have very much. It's like barely an inch of a clip that's going to go onto your belt. And if this thing starts falling to the ground, it's going gonna, it's gonna <laughs> to do some damage to the saber or the ground. All right, let's take the salt and pepper shaker pommel off. Here, and we've got the battery pack. Whoa. Three AA batteries. You might want to wrap some painter's tape around that to secure them down. But overall, the pommel looks well vented. We're going to turn it on in just a minute. It looks really sandy and dirty like the movie. It does, just like Ray from Tatooine or doing a lot of scavenging on... Like Jakku, Jakku. On Jakku, right? She's probably on Tatooine. That's where we last see her uh, wielding this thing. And so let's get to the best part, guys. Check this out. The emitter comes off, and this is how you secure the blade in. And it doesn't have two emitters. A lot, some sabers have two emitters where the, the teeth will be closed and the teeth will be activated or open. Teeth. And then show them the teeth, dude. Show them. Ah, they poked them out. Pop, pop, pop. They're, they don't pop straight up, they're kind of at an angle. Still gives it a really cool feel. And once you get the blade secured, you slide this right over the top here like this and screw it back in. 
So you don't have to juggle multiple emitters, that's cool. But, and it really wasn't that bad. That's really easy compared to like the Force FX Dark Saber, which you needed an Allen wrench and to screw it through and get the whole thing. And it was a big, a big deal. Uh, and the cloth grip feels good. It feels soft. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's gonna peel off. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, they added some fray to it to kind of give it some character. All right, now two really awesome things are about to happen. Still kind of part of the design. The activation switch is actually the rotation cuff. <gasps> the Galaxy's Edge doesn't do that. You know, we're gonna compare them someday, but this is a this is really, really cool. This is a deal breaker. Turn the dial for the activation switch. Hmm. Oh, yes. Dude, awesome. It has the rotating switch to activate it, and the button, is not like a, a sticking out button. It's not obnoxious. It doesn't look foreign. It's actually this little screw here. You press this little screw and this is gonna activate the features. Let's listen to the activation again. Oh, and one more thing in case you didn't catch it, I'm gonna show you guys in the dark. Check this out. Look at the windows. Oh! <laughs> I saw like- You saw it, right? Yeah, from the movie I saw the color like- Yeah, oh, high blue. five, dude. Green, blue, and then yellow. You can see the colors light up in the window. Awesome. Good job, Hasbro. Let's listen to the sensitivity. Dude, listen to that. Sounds crappy like Kylo Ren. Guys, the sensitivity is fantastic. They think this is the best Hasbro removable blade with the best sensitivity. Best ever! <laughs> Although, me and Peter got to talking and I was telling them how, remember our Kit Fisto Saber was just terrible with sensitivity. Yeah. Oh, the audio is off, dude. You hear that? Oh, it's even triggering itself. Um, but his works really well. So leave a comment down below, guys, if you have a Force Effect Saber that have you seen or held some that didn't work well and some that did, maybe there's some manufacturing problems and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, it kind of sounds like to me that you're kind of like in battle you like, when you do like the blasters. Okay, let's listen. Let's listen to the sound. See how clear it is and how loud it is. I can hear Ray's signature activation. Great sensitivity. It has a good volume, but kind of like force effects. Whatever speaker they're using, it's not clear. It's a, maybe a pinch louder and less clear. You know how, like in video games, if you sh this gun has more power but it's less accurate, that's kind of the trade-off here. You know what I mean? It's a little louder, but a little less clear. Yeah. Oh, nope, sounds great. All right, dude, check out the features with that screw. Press the button for some blaster deflect. Dude, looks good, man. Whoa, this is just like, what was the last Force FX we reviewed? You remember what it was? The last Force oh, FX, the lava effect was huge. Hasbro's gone way up on the lava effect. Dude, this thing takes up like, look at that. It's like a third of the blade. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. And just like the last force effect, and we've got a blue clash effect. That's, that's a really cool, that's a cool accent, man. Yeah. Progressive ignition deactivation. Let's try it upside down. I think it's the same no matter how you hold it.
Let me try that. Yeah, blast reflect. All right, and lava effect. Oh, it's white at the very tip, and then we got yellow and some orange, just red. Great sensitivity, but I'm noticing as I'm playing with the features, look at the blade, but look. Having a little problem just swinging it around, it's activating the clash. Not touching anything, not touching the button. Do you see it? Yeah. Just clashed. <clears throat> but if I turn it off, let's try if I turn it back on. Hmm. All right, but if I turn it off, take the blade out, put the blade back in, Screw the, the put the emitter back on, So leave a comment down below. If you have this Ray Force Effects Saber and you keep tripping the, the Clash effect by swinging it, let us know in the comments, right? Yeah. Otherwise, dude, Force Effects did a great job, man. We got a stand. We've got the teeth that open and close with the emitter. What do you think about it, man? Yeah, I think it's crazy awesome. Super good job, Force Effects. Love it. You nailed the sensitivity and the removable blade. And that swivel activation switch up high. Dude, Hasbro did a really great job, and uh, in case you missed it, here's a link up above. We did a review of the Corbanth, like $800 lightsaber, yeah. and that thing is massive to hold. This is much thinner and uh, easier to hold, right? Especially for your younglings. But as soon as you get it, guys, make sure you spend a lot of time with it. I'm noticing, I think I feel a couple glitches coming on, which is common, especially, remember, with the Kylo Ren. Oh, yeah. Remember the Kylo Ren saber? That, uh, dude, a lot of you guys out there had problems with uh, turning off. With kept, things kept getting triggered when they weren't. So just keep an eye on that so that you make sure you can return it in that time period and uh, make sure everything's working really well. All right, so thanks again, Peter, for letting us borrow your lightsaber. It was a lot of fun to review and I love this activation swivel switch. Yeah. Good job, Hasbro. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us to the end of the video because that tells YouTube. You make great videos. And also don't forget, guys, we'd really appreciate the help. If you wanted to buy one, where can they find the link to buy one? Down in the description. <laughs> yeah, we'd really appreciate the help. Thank you guys. And uh, give us a like, we'd appreciate it. You guys make sure to have an awesome Star Wars Day. See you next time, guys. Take care, all right? Be safe. Like, oh, I'm not safe. Ugh.